All right, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to take another look at my basketball card binder. Uh, if you missed the first episode of this series, I'm going to go through some of these cards that I put in a binder way back in the late 1990s. Most of these cards have been sitting in here for, what, almost 25 years now, with a few just more recent exceptions. But anyway, in the first episode, we went all the way from Sharif Abdurrahim, who I had in there, all the way to Magic Johnson. Uh, I did have a couple of exceptions uh, from that first, or omissions, excuse me. I didn't have Tim Duncan in there because I have some of these cards that are b blank spots that I have sent off to PSA uh, in a group submission. And then one random Kevin Durant card, I don't even know what year that is, that I had just, I guess I just purchased one random pack. And then my Kobe Bryant uh what I have left of Kobe Bryant, I believe that's a collector's choice rookie. I believe these others are second year cards. That is kind of a cool one because it's kind of the landscape looking card there. I really like this one down here, this Flare Metal Universe. Don't really know why I didn't submit that one. Uh, I can see maybe that top corner, the top edge is a little bit white. And then these hoops ones, which I believe might be from a second year, but I sent off like the upper deck rookie and um, maybe the other Flare Metal. Or like, the, I can't remember exactly. I sent off a Skybox one or something. So anyway, continuing here, we'll go to until we have about 10 minutes. Eddie Jones, <laughs> who sometimes I glance at his cards without looking really closely, and he looks like Kobe Bryant, but it's definitely not. Eddie Jones there uh, never really materialized. Oh my goodness, here's my Michael Jordan, the classic Skybox card. Uh, this one, which I don't even know, it's not a licensed product. Uh, some of these... Jordan, there's another one that's not licensed. I'm sure I got that at like a card shop for like a dollar or two. I think that's the McDonald's variety there of that upper deck card. These holograms I thought were really cool back in the day, and they still are. That's the MVP version there from Upper Deck. Uh, I always liked this one because it was two cards that made a little picture. So you can see I didn't ever really get into too many high-end Michael Jordans. I always liked that triple-double one that listed off the dates of the triple-double. Um, because I really didn't get into basketball card collecting until the mid 90s and so even though I started with baseball card collecting in 87 I didn't have the foresight there's the sports illustrator for kids to go into basketball and try to get you know like the Jordan rookie rookie or second year cards so I'd never have acquired those and probably never will just because the prices have been so outrageous so you can see there's nothing too crazy in here just a lot of um lower end we had a lot of collector's choice in our local gas station that we would pick up their space gym cards uh, and then some others here from like the Jordan collection um, as he came back from his retirement. Um, and so then these, I purchased these three off the internet during the documentary last year, as well as these back here. Uh, the regular Tops Beam Team, not the Stadium Club Beam Team, and a couple of those Earth Shakers inserts. So you can see Sean Kemp, he was one of my favorite players back in the day. I think I had a Sean Kemp jersey. I just loved his creativity, the slam dunks. My brother and I used to watch a highlight video of all sorts of awesome dunks. This was a 3D card and you could put on 3D glasses and it looked like it was coming off uh, the page there and coming to life. But anyway, we used to, I used to love Sean Kim for his massive dunks that he would throw throw down. Uh, these Rebound Kings are really cool from Flare Ultra. Those Flare Ultra inserts, man, you can't beat them. And so I have a lot of Sean Kim cards because he was one of my favorite players. And uh, even though he never really, uh, I think, made it into the Hall of Fame or anything. He's always a, a big-name player and a player that I like following. So there's a Sean Kemp again. These cool Fair Mill cards, just absolutely unique and still my favorite to this day when you're talking about Skybox Premium. That's the Kobe Bryant I sent in. I sent the Kobe Bryant from this, uh, this release, Skybox Premium. I couldn't remember what it was. His rookie card, I believe. So, man, I got a ton of Sean Kim. Didn't know I had that many. Jason Kidd. I also had a Jason Kidd jersey. I loved his uh, I loved his game with the assists and uh, just a little flair he played with as a point guard. Got a decent amount of rookies because this was the year that uh, we really started collecting cards in my high school. There's these little dog tags, the Sprint scoreboard dog tags. Now, that was crazy. But, yeah, we'd uh, a whole bunch of us would always go collect cards. We'd buy some after school at the little gas station in town. And then we'd bring our binders to school and trade them. And that was the year that Jason Kidd was just coming out. Because look at all these draft pick cards I have of, uh, of Jason Kidd. Then we got Tony Kukoc, who obviously came over from Croatia. And uh, 
stole, I don't say stole some of the thunder, but um, whenever Jordan left, it was kind of the next wave. There's Carl Malone. I don't know how I got that old Carl Malone. I must have picked that up at like a card shop or something. So I definitely haven't opened any packs of that old, old Carl Malone. There's another 3D card of the mailman. You know, I never really liked Carl Malone that much as a player. I always liked this card, though, because it's got the little um, overhang there, bottom of the scoreboard, which looked really cool. But now that he's retired, got to respect Carl Malone for what he was able to do. Just because he was kind of the, him and John Stockton were obviously battling against the Bulls there in those finals. In 97 and 98, there's an absolutely amazing card. Look at that. Just, you can't beat that. Oh, man. Cards today just aren't, I mean, they're cool, but, I mean, I, you can't beat these, you know, Flare Metal Universe, those Skybox cards from way back in the day. So there's my mailman. Here's some Stefan Marbury. <laughs> Remember Stefan Marbury? Oh, man. Oh, did he end up playing like in China or somewhere, Japan or something? I can't remember. Is that a Kenyon Martin? <laughs> Kenyon Martin's in the house. Remember when he was with Cincinnati and then he broke his leg in the NCAA tournament? They didn't get, right before they went to the NCAA tournament, then they obviously didn't make it that far. Jamal Mashburn, he was kind of coming out into the draft about that same time that Jason Kidd was. I've got a ton of these Jamal Mashburn rookie cards. Uh, I think he might have been out of Kentucky. I could be wrong. But he was a solid player. These emotion, Skybox Emotion cards really cool as well. The top's black gold. I used to think that was the most amazing little insert thing you could ever win. So I've gotten probably more of those because I'm sure I didn't just get the Jamal Mashburn. I probably won the little giveaway or whatever and, and completed the set. Antonio McDice. <laughs> Some of these guys I have in here are so crazy. Antonio McDice. I think he was drafted pretty high in the draft and so maybe that's why I put him in here. He had a good few years, I guess, with the Nuggets, but nothing too amazing. There you go, Antonio. Got a Reggie Miller. Looks like I had so many Reggie Millers, I could not keep them all contained. Probably ran out of space. There's a whole little slew here of Reggie Miller cards. Big time sharpshooter, three-pointer. Obviously most well-known for his run-ins with Spike Lee on the sidelines. When the Knicks battled the Pacers. Man, those Pacers teams are always so good. They never quite were able to get all the way to the finals and and win the championship, but um, they were very, very good. And Reggie Miller was the man on those teams. There's Alonzo Mourning, a 3D card again. Alonzo Mourning had quite the career with Charlotte before going to Miami. I believe he won the NBA title with the Miami Heat. Maybe the first time Dwayne Wade won the title without LeBron. There's Muggsy Bugs. There's a little die cut card, prime time, powers. Uh, a lot of little inserts there. There's See, there's another Topps Black Gold of Alonzo Mourning. I don't even know who was in the set that I won with. There's another one of these metallicized cards. Just absolutely gorgeous. Alonzo Mourning on Team USA. And then here's a guy who's popping up back into pop culture again. Dikembe Mutombo. Uh, the triple-double hologram there. Kind of trying to get it to show up, but it's not going to reflect really well in the light. Sorry about that. He's obviously popping up in those Geico commercials now. Probably, I'm, I'm curious how many young people watch those commercials have no idea who that guy is. Like, why is there this guy wearing a red number 55 jersey? <laughs> who is that guy? And it's Dikembe Mutombo. I always like that one because they have the background of Denver, the skyline. I assume that's Denver anyway, in the in the background of the photo. Obviously, Dikembe Mutombo, great defensive player. There's another one of those top black gold and the throwback unis. Hello. Um, he obviously finished his career there with the Hawks. Uh, maybe even with somebody else, but these with the Hawks. Um, okay, here's Steve Nash. I believe these are some Steve Nash rookie cards. Steve Nash, is he? He's coaching right now, all right? I think he's a coach. can't remember what team. I'm sure some of you guys who watch NBA could tell me what team. And then we may wrap this up with Akeem Olajuwon. Akeem, the dream, started off without the K in front of his, or the H in front of his name, and then added it in there. Some of his early cards uh, don't have the H on the front of Akeem Olajuwon. There's a Topps Gold. Where he's battling Shaq. That's a cool photo. Tops Gold always should be used to be one of my favorite inserts to hit. You always thought really you were really doing well when you hit a gold card of someone who was really neat. That's a nice one. Triple threats from Fleer. And then we'll finish it up here with some more Akeems. Nothing too crazy, but another look at my PC. There's when they won the championship. They won those years when Jordan was retired. And uh obviously when Jordan came back. Uh, it took him a year 
when he came back in the middle of the season, but then they won those last couple of championships his last few years, those three last ones. So there it is, guys. We made it to 10 minutes. Remember where we left off? We're going to have Shaq starting the next video off. Thank you so much for watching this video and looking into my basketball card personal collection. Feel free to leave a comment with your favorite card or your favorite player out of the bunch, and I'll see you in the next one.